Okay, here are the supplies that I've used for this project. I found a picture of a wolf on Pixabay, and if Marcel Langtham is the photographer, and I've copied him out on to, in black and white. And I also have the reference on my tablet. And then blending solution, miscellaneous colors of alcohol, ink. I use purple twilight, pool, stone wash, mushroom, aqua, cool peri, and black. And I also have PBO drawing gum, masking fluid works too, color shaper to apply it with, um, a straw works also if you cut the tip at an angle it works great. I also have some canned air and some straw because I'm going to blow with the straw as well. And I have a paintbrush and an aqua wash brush. You can use either one of those and Bombay black ink and if you want another color you can use one if you want and paper towels for cleanup and rubbing alcohol I'm using 91 percent and craft plastic by graphics and this is cool material it will lift back to white I'm still going to mask my wolf on it but it does lift off real nicely and this is my I've cut, this is, comes in 12 by 12 sizes, and I've actually cut it down to a 9 by 12. And then I've also gone and used some graphite paper to trace a picture of this wolf. I'm actually going to do some dripping down of color from him and then a background, and so... Even though this paper you can get lifted back to white, I'm going to go ahead and put some PBO drawing gum on the wolf and just go ahead and mask him. A lot of times I will pour my masking fluid into a cup to make sure that it's nice and fluidy and that it doesn't have lumps in it. That looks pretty good. And then I apply it with a color shaper and let it dry. So I'm going to continue on doing that and just mask him and let him dry. And then I'll show you what I'm going to do after that. Okay, that's had time to dry. Next, I'm going to drop a few colors on. And after I choose whatever these on. colors you'd like to choose. There's a lot of variety you could choose from. I choose fantasy colors that so were leaning towards purples and blues, but you could do something like reds and oranges or whatever you'd like to do. I'm going to just let them sit and dry. Okay, I had just done that and given it just a few minutes to dry. It's still kind of slightly wet. And I have a can of dust off and some homemade blending solution. You can just use regular blending solution and just take your canned air and blow the ink. Let it set for a second then blow the ink outwards. And it really blows smoothly on this craft plastic.
Okay. That spot I'm not quite tickled with. You can see on this paper, I'm not sure, let's see if I can zoom in. The way that uh, it has been evaporating on some of these sprouts, it evaporates unevenly and leaves little, neat little marks. Continue spraying and you might need a second can of canned air if your can's getting too cold or take a break. nice thing about this craft plastic is you can erase your mistakes and start over if you don't like something. Okay. It looks cool like it is, but what I'm actually going to do... is put another layer on here. Okay, and let it dry. I could have stopped here and just, but I, personal preference, I wanted to go and do more. Here I've sped up the video, I'm doing the same thing, blowing, if I get bad spots I wipe out what I don't like. And it's starting to look messy. But one good thing is we can continue to play. Here I'm going backwards, the opposite direction. I'm going up, blowing, going back downwards. So continue on doing this until you get the desired effect that you want.
first photo we have a winter scene with a bunch of trees and stuff back here I'm going to try to keep it simple and I think I'm going to use some of these same colors okay, I've got a brush to move it around with and I'm just going to toss on a few of these colors kind of randomly letting them mix on the paper so Since that's going that way, I think we want this to have the feel of going this direction. If anything. white areas are getting filled back in. So I'm just going to let that dry. Oh really? I wasn't recording before when I thought it was. So I will show you again how to do this. You put a little bit of the ink down and you I had written there acrylic ink. You can use acrylic ink if you want Lovely to. What straw. I am using is India ink. But do not use alcohol ink because you will inhale too many fumes and that is too bad for your health. Like that. And you continue doing it. There's my blowing. I've gone over top of some of the marks again get it darker down at the bottom and stuff and now I have some mushroom in my palette and I actually like this hard edge that we have here so I'm going to try to reinforce that When you get things how you like them, then you can peel off the masking fluid on your wolf. And the way my wolf is sitting now that I can see it, <clears throat> we kind of need to have a little bit of a rock. Because I'm not liking this hard edge here, I'm going to carefully lose his paw here. Yes, I'm losing some of him. That's okay.
We had some of that purple right here. Yep. We're also putting some of that there. into it. And I call this as trying to fix mistakes. <laughs> too hard right here. Okay, I've got a Q-tip. I can still see my lines. Put my reference photo here too. supposed to be. Okay, I've also decided that I wanted a few black tree limbs on top of this. Before I started doing that, I practiced on this piece of paper and realized that some of these colors would mix together pretty decently. The teal and the black Since I removed the mask from the wolf, I don't want to get it too close. So I'm going to do the rest off camera, the side off camera. Okay, I put four of my colors in here. I am still not liking the top area of this. I wanted some pebbles across here. <clears throat> so, what I'm going to do. Is just if I would have put this on directly, I think that I would have had too big of a marks too big because when I first put it on, it gets like. So it depends on whether you took out everything at the top. If you decided to leave some color in there. I took some ink and sprayed it down here too. And that will not lift on this paper, whereas the alcohol ink will lift clear back to white. I like that better. I don't want to overdo it, but I 
I like that a little bit better. Take a minute to observe your photo. Even though this wolf has a lot of the tan colors are in it and stuff, I'm going to substitute some other colors for those areas. For the shadow, I might use the purple. Is the aqua or the stone washed for some of the cream colored, the mushroom for some of the darker areas? Thin mushroom makes a really pretty color too. You can see that there. Okay, I'm starting by just getting a base coat of some colors on here and then I can rework how I want it. So I'm putting Cool Perry down the side of his legs here. Also that Cool Perry color, I'm going to put some on his face. I chose Cool Perry because it is the lightest the light, light. so I'm working it. in the lightest lights right now. Inside of his ears. here and I also have some mushroom in here I'm gonna take and make some purple also with it okay uh, going the direction of the fur there Got that mushroom again. A little bit of purple also. These are the lighter mid tones. Interest. Take that down. Into his foot. His front paw. over here. Kind of just getting a base of color now. Adding some more blue, purple. Mushroom with some purple. Okay, same for the front legs. Mushrooms and purple. Okay, down the front of his face. Okay. I'm going to take some aqua. 
and put a little bit of that very lightly Look here. Just going back into the peri with the aqua. I tend to like mixing my colors on the page. Okay, this is some of the darker mushroom because it's been sitting there evaporating longer. Since this is a fantasy, her character does not have to be real colors. I have to get the darks in here pretty soon. Purple wolf. Here I'm adding more color to the wolf's main features and facial features, adding the mid darks. Okay, I'm getting some darker tones. I make sure when you use your brush, you use it the direction of the fur, your stroke marks. Continuing to add color. Defining it more. Just adding aqua where I think that it could use it to make it look neat. Using it as a mid-tone. Here I'm picking up the blending pen and blending using for direction strokes. Softening again with the blender. Added some purple and then blended it in with the blending pen. Added some more color with my brush, blended it in. Yep, little pressure on the brush. Light pressure so that you don't remove too much because the craft plastic does or go back to white if you have pressed too hard on the blending pen. What I am noticing here is that I'm not liking, it still feels like the wolf is falling off the cliff. So you're gonna see some changes in the next portion too. We need to get him rooted. Yep, keep watching your tonal values and where the shadows are because there'll be more shadow underneath the wolf or that back fore, back leg in the back, his back leg that's in the distance is going to be shadowed more than the front leg. Easier to correct your mistakes when you make mistakes on this craft plastic. Similar to the Nara paper.
Yeah, some of the ways that I bring the closer legs closer to me here, you can see I put the aqua in those areas. Aqua usually recedes, but since the other color is black and purple, they also recede. But it does make it look a different color. Hmm. Oh, what a smile. Now I picked up my black brush pen to get the black sand to define his eyes and his nose and a little bit in his mouth. If I get it too dark, my blending pen will pull it back out a little bit, adding some black to the fur too to define the fur. Just short strokes. Oh, too much. Just keep working a wolf until you get him how you like him. Here I picked up the color okay. on the pen. Now it's time to take and step back and take a look at it. And decide if you like it or not. If you want to do anything else. Definitely want to make sure that you use this last. If you use it on this kind of paper especially. Kind of gives it a fur look by putting some in. I do not like this spot right here. I think his foot should be covered up slightly, like he's standing behind something. That stone's still bothering me. Either needs to be a different color or colored in. Okay, you have stones here, you have a few coming down here, I'm almost thinking that I need to add just a few more to get that feeling of the drop in the center.
carry a few of these out to the edge of my paper. Also, if you want to go over it with a Signa Uniball white gel pen or whatever kind of gel pen you'd like, 